Game Ranks presents the top 10 PC gaming mouse facts that you probably didn't know. All right, listen up, PC gamers. As many of you probably know, the mouse is your most important tool. It's how you copy and paste. It's how you edit photos. It's also how you watch porn. But most importantly, it's how you play games. So here's some fun facts about it, starting with number 10. The first computer mouse was actually made out of wood. The mouse had a nice finished wood grain look when it was developed by Douglas Engelbart and patented on November 17th, 1970. This first mouse was used with a primitive Xerox computer system in 1973. Number nine. The first PC FPS game with mouse look was a Mac exclusive game developed by Bungie. This game was Marathon. Marathon was awesome, and it was the first game to feature full first person look with the full range of a computer mouse. It wasn't the first FPS game, and there were games that you can look up and down with, but Marathon was the first keyboard and mouse game to fully utilize the X and Y motion to the fullest potential on the modern mouse. And it's actually still a pretty damn good game. You can even get it on your iPad. Number eight. At one point, IBM released an internal memo about replacing mouse balls that contained sexual innuendos. This memo from 1991 was published to all IBM engineers. It's just really funny and reads like a Saturday Night Live sketch. Foreign mouse balls can be replaced using the pop-off method. Domestic balls are replaced using the twist-off method. Mouse balls are not usually static sensitive. However, excessive handling can result in sudden discharge. Wow. It is recommended that each replacer have a pair of spare balls for maintaining optimum customer satisfaction, and that any customer missing his balls should suspect local personnel of removing these necessary items. You can't make this up. Some people are just really clueless. Number seven. Postdoctoral student at Logitech, Arash Solarian, developed an algorithm that gives a mouse a nearly unlimited reaction rate. This was a killer feature for new Logitech mouse, and really crucial to gamers who could only get so much out of an optical mouse with their sudden fast movements. So you can thank Logitech and Solarian for the modern technology in gaming mouses, because you're getting the absolute fastest reaction time you possibly could. Number six. A Polish software developer is working on an idea to make a computer housed entirely within a mouse. This invention is dubbed the mouse box and works like a normal mouse, but it has a processor, flash storage, HDMI, and Wi-Fi. That's a pretty awesome idea. It makes for an ultra portable computer. Now, you're probably not gonna be able to game on it, but it's still pretty sweet. The mouse box's specifications are a 1.4 gigahertz processor, 128 gigs of flash storage, micro HDMI, 802.11n Wi-Fi connectivity, and USB 3.0 ports. This thing is pretty badass, and it's impressive that they crammed that much inside a computer mouse. Number five. Thanks to modern computer programming science, there is now a software adapter for a computer mouse to help people who have hand tremors use computers more easily. People with hand tremors have always notoriously had a lot of problems using a mouse because they're so sensitive, but thankfully now that's a thing of the past. Various computer programs use computer code to reduce the effect of tremors on the cursor, making it easier to focus on the object you want to click on. Not only are there software solutions, but there's also mouse adapters. These adapters are designed to filter out erratic motion and narrow the stream of information and input to make using a mouse more accurate. It's amazing how much simple software engineering can really change things. Number four. Razer has a mouse pad that glows in 16.8 million colors. Yes, Razer, the crazy, ridiculous, over-the-top PC gaming peripheral manufacturer, has invented a mouse pad that glows unlike anything you've ever seen. Razer is, of course, famous for putting color LEDs into keyboards, mice, and headsets, but now you can have a glowing mouse pad, and it's really freaking sweet. Number three. Apparently back in the early days of computers, the unit of measurement for a computer mouse movement was called a Mickey. Using Mickeys to measure a mouse seems really hokey, and thankfully it's kind of a thing of the past now. As many of you probably know, now we have DPI, or dots per inch, to measure mouse movement. Number two. Microsoft included Solitaire in its Windows operating system to introduce people to graphic user interfaces and basic movements of the mouse. The Solitaire program has always been readily accessible, and the idea of clicking and dragging around cards and placing them on certain piles seemed pretty easy to get. So you can really thank Microsoft and Solitaire for teaching some noobs how to use a computer mouse. They should come up with something like this for the iPhone, because my mom still doesn't know how to use it. Number one. Douglas Engelbert, the inventor of the mouse, was a pretty blunt guy. When someone asked him about his world-famous, life-changing invention, he recalled, it just looked like a mouse with a tail, and we called it that. So that's how the mouse got its name. If only naming things could always be that simple. It certainly is for computers. We have a mouse, we have a keyboard, it's a board with keys, we have a laptop, it's a computer that goes on top of your lap. Naming computer stuff has been pretty simple, and we have to thank Doug Engelbert for setting that precedent. And we really have to thank him for inventing the mouse, because we couldn't be playing awesome games without him. So those were 10 facts about the computer mouse you might not have known. Unless maybe you're a super hardcore computer nerd and you know all of this. Let us know in the comments. And if you know anything else about computer mouses, be sure to let us know in the comments below. Share the knowledge with everyone. If you did have a good time though, like this video. It really helps us out. And subscribing is even better because we do videos like this and giveaways often. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.